What's up everyone? Welcome back. So in our last video, we made a lemon oleo saccharum. This video is on my channel and I'll post a link in the description down below. We are going to showcase this bright ingredient by making a gin sour, which means we are going to incorporate an egg white. A true sour is nothing without this delightful ingredient and it's totally safe. The egg white cuts through the acid like a knife, bringing a beautiful balance to sweet and sour. The egg white also creates a foam that coats your palate with a clean, silky sensation that is also aesthetically pleasing. Enjoying a cocktail with an egg white is truly an experience. All right, let's put together our ingredients. I'm getting thirsty over here. Gin, lime juice, lemon oleosaccharum, an egg or two, and some Angostura bitters. Real quick, let's touch on why the effort of making an oleo magnifies the flavor profile of this cocktail. Regular sugar is great, and I use it every day, but when it comes to this cocktail, regular sugar can't hold a candle next to an oleo. An oleo is a complex sweetening agent that is tart and oily from the peels, and slightly bitter from the pith. It reminds me of Wendy Peppercorn from the Sandlot. All right, let's go over the bar tools needed to make a gin oleo. A set of Boston shakers, a Hawthorne strainer, a mesh strainer, a jigger, a coupe glass, and a dropper with a toothpick. All right, let's jump right in and start building. Wow, I actually caught it. Add three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, one ounce of lemon oleo, and two full ounces of gin. Lastly, let's separate an egg white. Do so over your large tin, just in case the yolk jumps out of the shell. Roku is an interesting gin, and surprise, it's Japanese. It's made from six different Japanese botanicals, and it's floral, slightly sweet, and extremely smooth. It's the perfect gin for this cocktail. We are going to dry shake this cocktail to whip the egg white. This is done by shaking without ice. You gotta shake the hell out of your tins. Pretend there's a big spider on your hand when shaking. Be aware that when you dry shake, there is no ice to cool and contract your tins. The egg white also wants to expand. So hang on tight or prepare for a shower of foam. Pop your tins and now shake with ice. We're going to strain this cocktail into a coupe glass using a Hawthorne and a mesh strainer. All that's left is to garnish this beauty. As you drink this wondrous cocktail, you will experience a burst of bright flavors with a slightly bitter aroma. It's the perfect contrast. Using a dropper, add three drops near the rim of the coupe glass. Run a toothpick through them. The flower is optional. And there we have it. We just made a gin oleo sour. Time stops when enjoying this cocktail. It really is that good. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel at Off The Clock Bartender. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram as well. I'll see you all next time.